In the last video, I was able to install Squid 3 on my Raspberry Pi 2 and intercept traffic coming from my Windows computer by opening up Firefox, going to Options, Advanced, Network, Connection Settings, and changing from no proxy, changing it from no proxy to manual proxy configuration, putting in the IP address of my Raspberry Pi and the port 3128, and now my Raspberry Pi is the proxy for all of my web requests in Firefox. So in other words, if I reopen Firefox here, you can see, you can see the request going through the proxy server at the Raspberry Pi. In other words, if I type in yahoo.com, you can see the request going through the proxy server and as it asks essentially the proxy server for the web page. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to install SquidGuard so that we can filter these web requests, so we can filter URLs and filter domain names. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'll do a control C, I'll type clear, and I'll do a sudo app-get install SquidGuard. I'll press Y and enter if I'm prompted. Okay, so now that SquidGuard's installed, what we want to do is go into the database folder where we'll hold our blacklist, where we'll create our blacklist or download our blacklist. And to start with, we're just going to set up a little test blacklist. So what I'll do is I'll go cd and go into root var lib SquidGuard. I'll do an ls command, and you can see there's a folder named db for databases. This is where our blacklists go inside of this folder. So I'll go inside of that folder and now I'm in root var lib squid guard db and I'll create a file. I'll do sudo nano and create a file named test domains. So now I have a text file named test domains and I'm going to type in some domains that will practice to see if we can block these domains. We'll try to block msn.com, yahoo.com, and let's say espn.com. Okay, control X, Y, and enter. And now if I do an ls command, you see I have a text file named test domains. And if I cat that test domains file, you see it just has three lines of text msn.com, yahoo.com, and espn.com, just a list of domains that we're going to see if we can block or deny using SquidGuard. So now to do that, all I need to do is edit the SquidGuard configuration file. So I'll go and change directories into root etc SquidGuard. Once in the directory, I'll do a ls command. You can see that there's a squidguard.conf file. I want to back that file up, so I'll do a cp squidguard.conf and back it up to squidguard.conf.back. Okay, permissions denied. I forgot the sudo. So I'll go to the front and sudo copy. So now I have the configuration file backed up. Now I can safely edit squidguard.conf. So I'll do sudo, I'll use nano text editor, and I'll edit squidguard.conf, capital G. Inside of the configuration file, you'll see these lines here. I'm going to scroll down, and you can see destination good, destination local, destination porn, destination adult. After destination adult, right here on this empty line, I'll press enter a couple times and I'll make my own destination called test. I'll do some curly braces here and inside of test I'm gonna type domain list tab and our domain list is test domains. Okay, excellent. Now if we go to the top here you can see that the path for these files 
are the DB database home is in var lib squidguard DB, and that's what enables me to just type test domains because test domains is in that folder. So that's excellent. You see, test domains, I can just, just type it because it's in the DB folder. All right, so this is my test grouping here that we're going to run against. It's destination test. So now what we have to do is go down to our ACL rules. I'm going to comment out foo clients within work hours. So let's comment this out. I'll just comment out this line here. This pass good in ADDR not porn any. I can just basically comment that out. And then I'll go down to default and instead of pass local none we'll say pass not test. So if it's not in the test grouping pass anything. So anything can pass as long as it's not in test. All right, and test and test is going to specify three domains, MSN, Yahoo, and ESPN. Then I'll redirect any blocks or any denials will redirect to let's say google.com. Okay, that looks good. I'll do control X, Y, and enter. Now I've edited my configuration file and we've put a text file into the database folder. Now we need to compile and turn that test file, that test domains file that's in that folder, we need to compile this into a database file. And to do this, we're gonna to have to put in a few commands. The main command is sudo and then call the SquidGuard program and dash capital C all and this should compile all of the files that are in our database folder and create database files for them for indexing with SquidGuard so it can index against those database files to check them against web requests. So if I do this we can see that worked. Excellent. So now all I need to do is change some permissions. So to change these permissions, I'll go in and I'll do a sudo chown dash capital R proxy colon proxy root var lib squid guard db and this will recursively add ownership of proxy proxy which is the squid proxy server we want to make sure that squid has access to the squid guard database files so we'll do that and then i'm also going to do that with var log squid guard and with the program the squid guard program which is in usr bin and the program's name is squid capital g guard notice there's a difference sometimes it's lowercase g sometimes it's capital case, uh, capital g in this case the program squid guard has a capital g in it so we change that all right excellent now there's one other thing we need to do. We've configured SquidGuard. We've created uh, test domains. Um, once again, if we go into root var lib SquidGuard db and do an ls command dash l, you can see that inside there is our test domains database file that was created from our test domains text file and notice the permissions proxy proxy so that's good that's excellent so we created our test domains our blacklist we turned the test domains into a database file we changed permissions so that squid has access to these files we compiled the database also we edited the squidguard.configuration file 
to create our test grouping that calls on test domains. So our configuration file is what helped SquidGuard compile the um, database of blacklists. So now what we need to do is we need, there's one other thing we have to do, and that is tell Squid to use SquidGuard as a URL rewrite program. So to do that, what we need to do is go into Squid, so sudo nano, and it's in root etc squid3 squid.conf. We need to go back into that large configuration file, squid.conf, which is in the squid3 folder. And what I want to do is, is I want to search for a line that begins with URL underscore rewrite underscore program. So control W, URL underscore rewrite underscore program. And you can see this is the section for URL rewrite program options for URL rewriting. And this is where, where you need to go if you want to set up a URL rewriter, which is essentially what SquidGuard is going to function as. So I'll scroll down. And at the end of all these commented lines here on line, I think it's uh, 4,168. I forgot to open it up with the lines here. Let's do that again. Control X. We'll open up nano, but this time with a dash C so you can see it. All right, that shows us the line numbers. Then we'll search once again for URL underscore rewrite underscore program. There's the section. Then we scroll down. I want to put it at the end of the section. So I'm scrolling down and it's around line 4,168, correct. I'll put an extra line in there and I'll put in URL underscore rewrite underscore program. Whoops, got to spell it correctly. There we go, URL underscore rewrite underscore program space and then the path to SquidGuard, which is in root USR bin SquidGuard. Root USR bin SquidGuard. All right, that looks good. So control X, Y, and enter. And I just want to make sure that I correctly choned that. Yep, I did. Okay, perfect. So now that that's set up, all we have to do is restart Squid. So sudo service squid3 reload. Then I'll do a sudo service squid3 status. And you can see here reloading, reloading. Now we want it to start pointing at squid guard. Let's see here. Maybe if I do a, I want to do a restart. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. We've restarted Squid. Let's see if it's gonna work. So now I'll go to Firefox and I'll type in msn.com and hit enter. And you can see it returns us to Google. It doesn't take us to msn.com. If I put in espn.com, it also takes me back to Google. If I put in yahoo.com, it takes me back to Google, or it redirects me to Google. Okay, if I put in danscourses.com, I actually am allowed or permitted to go to this website. So SquidGuard is working, and our test domain database is filtering domain names, and it's filtering the domain names that we entered into that text file. Now the next step, is to download a blacklist and compile a blacklist in SquidGuard so that we're filtering not just three domains that we wrote in our text file, but actually filtering a long index or list of domains and URLs and things that we want to filter or block on our network.